Also at 6 o'clock, one of the state's most troubled agencies at the start of an overhaul. The Department of Family and Protective Services has a new commissioner. He is Henry Whitman, and he says the era of business as usual at his agency has ended. In fact, he's pushing for a 10-point plan for Child Protective Services. Our Garrett Berger sat down with State Senator Carlos Uresti to get his take on this new plan. Sitting in his first legislative hearing today, Commissioner Henry Whitman was asked about his thoughts on how CPS cases where a child had died were handled. I can't fault them if they're not, they don't have the investigative background that I do because I read these reports and I, and I think, oh God, how did that get missed? The former Texas Ranger says getting CPS special investigators forensic training will be important. It's one item in his 10-point plan to improve the department's Child Protective Services Division. He outlined the points in a letter to the governor, including a, quote, new culture of accountability, making regional CPS directors reapply for their jobs, and increasing efforts to get help from the religious community. I agree with almost everything in the letter. State Senator Carlos Uresti is on the Senate Health and Human Services Committee. He particularly favors items like taking special care of high-needs kids, focusing on human trafficking, and expanding prevention and early intervention programs. It's not just new tires and new spark plugs. It's time for a new vehicle. And I think that's what this letter tries to do. But new cars and overhaul divisions don't come cheap. Uresti thinks there will be a price tag, but he doesn't know how much. But it's long overdue, and if we truly want to take care of these kids, which I think we do, I think all of us want to, we've got to be willing to reach deep into our pockets and pay for the programs that are effective and that are efficient and that work. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.